On today's Men of the Apes, I ask for a tease. I look, everybody does the mm hmm hmm. So it's time to talk apes. Hello and welcome to Minute of the Apes, the daily podcast where we break down every minute of the Plain of the Apes movies one minute at a time. I'm Todd. I've got Richard and Sean with me. It's Wednesday. How are we doing on this Wednesday morning? Doing good. I'm ready for new comic. I'm snackish. You're yeah. snackish. Munchy uh, munchy. New comics. Is there anything interesting hitting the shelves soon? I know sure. this will be six weeks, well, seven weeks in the future, but still people want to know what's going on. What What's out there, Richard? Uh, well, I mean, the I think I did I mention this last week. The hot comic was Batman Fortnite. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that was last week. Uh, we sold out pretty fast. I was kind of surprised by that. All right, because I ordered heavy on it. But um, yeah, no. Uh, the second issue of Berserker comes out. The Keanu Reeves um, uh, glamour project that is basically starring him as a godlike character. Uh, Probably going to be used for a movie at some point. Oh, it's already been. It was announced like two days after the comic book came out. I mean, it's yeah. it's literally like a. Uh, here I'm writing a, a, a script that or a <clears throat> writing a comic book that stars me, that's written by me, that clearly I want to get turned into a movie. And guess what? Boom! It's Keanu Reeves, so it's getting turned into a movie. You know who else is doing the same thing? Amelia Clark. She's got a comic book coming out. Yeah, she's yeah, writing. Right. It's also going to pretty much star her in it. And who knows? Maybe she'll have a movie about it. In, in you know the day after the comic book comes out. I mean, I'm fine with all this. I just don't want it to become a trend. So, yeah, real Bam quick, project. Ba- Batman Fortnite. What for? How did? What happens that Batman's with in Fortnite? Is that well? You you can unlock you can unlock the DC skins or characters to play in for in Fortnite. But I but the the comic. What 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 was it? Did it have I a story? Batman. Batman's, Batman's in Batman's the Fortnite in... game somehow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that that bothers me as much as vanity projects that's just such well, a... i mean why you shot weren't you when when shouldn't you have been more upset whenever they uh introduced star wars into um fortnite to actually be the beginning of the last jedi or whatever or the rise of skywalker i guess i didn't pay attention to that i didn't know that happened. yeah they, the whole uh palpatine coming alive and sending out an announcement to the universe that he's alive that they did in the crawl for the last jedi I mean, for um, the Rise of Skywalker actually happened in Fortnite. So instead of effective storytelling in a movie, they used a video game that nobody beyond the age of 14 plays. So that's why that movie didn't work. I understand. There you go. Um, On a fun comic related note, as I was reading through some of the notes, um, Sam Maroney, who was a reporter for Marvel Comics Apes magazine, is featured as one of the mutants in this. He simply showed up to do some reporting on the film and is one of the people in the background. So we have one of those fun little things. You, you probably won't see him. I've seen the picture, and I don't know if I could point him out in the moment, but he got to show up and had no idea they were going to put mutant makeup on him, and the man is in this movie somewhere with us. Well, that, that's really, really cool for him. It's a, it did, clearly didn't require much acting on any of the extras <laughs> they had. Yeah. So. I knew somehow when you said that's really cool for him, I thought, uh-oh. Here it comes. <laughs> for that butt. All right. So here we are, minute 33. Sean, tell us what's going on. All right. We're going to start minute 33 with a frozen image of zero on a monitor and ends with Caesar saying, no wonder, all mankind. All right. Let's take a listen. Minute 33, Battle for the Play of the Apes. My mother. Who won your war? It wasn't our war. It was the gorilla's war. The date meet on the spaceship. What did it read after Earth's destruction? 39.50. And you talk to your pupils about eternity. There are only three. There must be more. The question is how many? 
That's the question we'll have answered when we get them. My father. That's my father. How did apes first acquire the power of speech? They learned to refuse. On a historic day, there came an ape who spoke a word which had been spoken to him time without number by humans. He said, no. No wonder all mankind. At the minute 33, we have a village's worth of apes and humans, plus a ghost city's worth of radioactive people, and a recording of Dear Sweet Zero. I have so many questions about all of this. Number one, the one thing that bugs me, why is it still images? They have film I, from the from the movie. Film, yeah. Why aren't we seeing have, moving images? I have a feeling it was a rights issue. If you use footage, moving footage of them, you have to pay them. But if you have a still, you don't. Like if I put a picture of Zira up on the wall, I wouldn't have to pay as much for the rights of that as if I had a video clip looping of her playing is all. And why I weren't these just? Why weren't these just audio clips? I mean, so that so that um, Corny, I mean, so that Caesar could go. That's my mom. That's my dad. And how does he know that? Okay, that's the other question. The, okay, that Maybe. was my next thing. How does he know these are his parents? Did he see TV footage Maybe. as a child? Maybe Armando up? showed it to him as a child. This right. is your mother. This is your father. Never forget them or something like that. And if he did that, why the fuck is he even? suddenly excited so about seeing and, them yeah excited it doesn't make any sense what why his reaction is this um and also it should have been more like is that my mother and then when caesar comes up uh, when the uh, cornelius comes up he goes I, is that me well so what's something yeah a little, little, little more a little more of an aha like oh that's is that my mother well i even my, i think it's dad i think him saying is that i think that should be yeah. Why isn't Virgil asking him? Is that your mother? I, I yeah. believe so. You know, the, and Virgil should have said, "You're the striking image of your father," or something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Just acknowledge it. It's just a very, very weird handling of it. And you're all, you're taking Caesar also back to the point where he almost acts like a child. He's been a leader. This person that understands That's a my bit dad. more. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. It's just real odd the tonal shift in character at that point so want, it, uh, go ahead well, i was gonna say uh we get a little bit of half line asking his question from whenever he got zero mm -hmm. drunk and everything i'm wondering if he got paid anything for this since they had to they use a little clip of his audio or not i don't know i see i wonder if because i would imagine kim hunter they probably have rights for her but i do wonder if it's eric braden as Hasline that maybe that's what held him up. Maybe they couldn't figure out how not to uh, use him in it. I, I got an idea. Make the film break. Make the film jitter or something like that so yeah. you don't see well, him. And it's also funny. It's film that they're running, but it's a video projection that comes up. The static is all video. It's not yeah. film. You know. Right. The um, So the, the important lines that she says are, it wasn't our war. It was the guerrilla's war. Right? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. That's brought up. And... The date, 3950. Now, there was some more dialogue, actually. We got some more of the back and forth between her and Hasline that they, for some reason, edited out. But they wanted us to walk away with it was the guerrilla's war, and they wanted us to walk with the date, 3950. Yeah, I honestly don't understand why that date's important. I don't understand well, I mean, why it's relevant other than it's just in the future. Well, I think it's, you know, uh, Caesar taking a little dig at Virgil with his pontificating about infinity and all that stuff. And Caesar going, yeah, your infinity ends in a couple of centuries whenever everything gets blown up. I, I get, I guess, but the line could have been a little bit better. It just kind of his his dig at Virgil to me just kind of came out of nowhere. Like what? You and you talk to your pupils about eternity. Like I need, I needed more to that line. Yeah, it's it's yeah. there are a lot of leaps of logic within watching this, and I even have some notes later on that as the week goes on and after it, when we start escaping from this environment I, as a viewer i should be feeling like i have new knowledge about my story as you know my characters now have to escape and with that there's nothing here that that changes the impact of what i'm seeing on screen well the only thing i can say is you have 
in some ways, you know, you, you're going in as this is the fifth movie in a franchise, but in other ways, you have to assume it's potentially somebody's first movie in the franchise that they're watching. And so the, while we already know this and while the characters might already know this, the audience member watching this might not know this, the information that they're giving. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I mean, we were supposed to get more of the conversation. We were supposed to hear her say, it wasn't our war, it was the Ch guerrillas war. Chimpanzees are pacifists. Uh, we stayed behind, we never saw the enemy. Uh, Hasline is supposed to ask, but which side won? And Zero is supposed to go neither. When we were in space, we saw a bright white blinding light. We saw the rim of the earth melt and there was a tornado in the sky. And then, you know, what date did their uh, a spaceometer say? And, 3950. And Caesar says, uh, the so when, when Caesar says you talk to your peoples about eternity, it now makes more sense because she actually talks about the destruction of the, of the earth, not simply there was a war and it was the ones the guerrillas started. And we never saw the other side. So it, it would pit the beginning of some type of conflict that may be relevant to later on in this movie. But right now it's just the guerrillas are at fault for whatever it is. I don't know. I, I know it just it, everything feels like such a reach and it feels it, even this feels anticlimactic when we think of Caesar in his hut saying he would love to see his mother and father. Well, he just gets to see a couple of pictures and what he hears. Yeah, that, that whole is, journey just to see that. I mean, this is all stuff that McDonald could have just told him. It's information he knows. He doesn't have to see his parents to confirm this stuff. Yeah, and it would even be nice at that point if he says, "I wish I could actually see them say these things." You know, the, mm -hmm. you, yeah. other than we need to, wh wh what do we accomplish here? We accomplish that we establish There's that there are mutants. Peace for twelve years. There's yeah. twelve years. These people are beneath the ground. That's really about the only major things that come out of this. Have they? Well, I mean, have, have they talked? Were they? Then they don't talk about the destruction of the Earth in thirty nine fifty. Yeah. You know, and I think that's somewhat relevant to the, uh, the conflict that's about to potentially happen in this film. The, um, the, so after he says 3950 and you talk to your pupils about eternity, we actually jump back one, two, three, four, five, six pages to Alma going, um, no, or, or uh, Mendes saying there's only three and Alma going, there must be more. The question is how many? And that's a question we'll answer when we get them, right? This was actually supposed to take place after Culp originally says, you know, um, he used to supervise the archives, the orangutan, I don't know. It was actually supposed to, hey, you know, there's three of them. There must be more. Let's go get them. So the tension was supposed to start a lot earlier on in terms of this, but they moved it to this point because of probably what's going to happen over the next two days. And, and just preceding that, we get the, uh, you know, again, Thompson has a great eye for constructing these shots where somebody's heavy in the front. right there in the front. Yeah, and I love that. I, I I love his approach to those type of things, but my thought when I saw that insertion, and now that I know that you're talking about that these were parts from the script, but they're all jumbled around, I don't understand the need to insert that here. I think that, if no. anything, it breaks the tension. If anything, we need to be going right to the shot that occurs. Let me look at roughly... About 55 seconds in, we get a shot of a staircase with people descending. We should That should be up in the minute, so we know there's doom. Movement towards them. There's yeah. movement towards them. Yeah, I know that there's three of them. We should have got them. If Culp had said that earlier, then the security announcement would make sense. Yeah. And then, because that was supposed to follow it, um, the 12 years war would make a little bit more sense because of that it would naturally flow out of that. Um, yeah. But but it's just, it's jumbled around. Uh, do you want to talk about what Caesar says about what his father's line is? Because they clearly, they created this dialogue to try and make everything kind of work to yeah. connect it back, right? The, the, when did the apes first learn to acquire the, the power of speech? And of course they then put in okay. new, new audio of Cornelius mm -hmm. because they can, because the actor's there. So yeah. they learned, they learned to refuse. And on a historic day, uh, there came an ape who spoke a word which hadn't been spoken to him, uh, had been spoken to in time without number by humans. He said no. So they're they're trying to tie back in the last movie, mm -hmm. and they're trying to tie in. Well, actually, what got omitted was he he mentioned he uh, Cornelius is actually supposed to mention it was in the secret scrolls, in the ancient okay. secret scrolls. Okay. So had he said that, that would tie it back to the beginning yeah. movie. Yeah, the very yeah. 
but they didn't. He just 